What's up, Pisces? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma, and this is your timeless reading. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. If at any time uh, you guys resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Any questions, you wanna know my bio a little bit more about me, you wanna book a reading, read client reviews, you can check out my website. The link is in the description box below. Um, right now, everything is 20% off for until May 22nd because Taurus is my birthday season. So the code when you check out is Taurus, 20% off. It's on both sites. When you click on the link, it'll take you to my Shopify, but other little links on the Shopify will take you to my Etsy. The code works on both sites. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, Pisces, with my blessing and prayer and see what messages Holy Spirit has for you at this time. Father God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you. Ooh. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Pisces. In regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path, I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and wisdom into what soul lessons and karmic cycles they may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So the card that flew out was judgment, but it flew out in reverse. Um, and so I feel like there's a situation here, Pisces, where resentment may be an issue. Like somebody could not, they couldn't forgive, they could, they like, they were really holding on to some type of perception, belief, and they couldn't give it to God. And it, because I'm seeing like a hard rock. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because when I think of judgment, I think of, um, I think of judgment day, but it takes me to, I, it's taking me to the, the tomb, Jesus's tomb. And, and I keep seeing the, the stone that needs to be rolled over. And it's like, it's not, it's not moving. It's just something that was hard, like a boulder was stuck on whoever that judgment was. They could not release it. So I don't know if that's you or the other person in the situation and you recognize that that's where this person is coming from because there is there is some type of uh, resentment here that's getting in the way of a situation or did get in the way of a situation. So let's see, messages please for Pisces. You have child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you, okay? So any answers that you're looking for are within right now. I see you trying to release something too, like you're trying, you're surrendering. Portal, doors are opening, you decide, rewards and wild card. You're right at the doorstep, you're right at the doorway of entering uh, a new life. Like the way I'm seeing it is ascension. Okay. So, but you have to be willing to just release something. You've reached a level Pisces, whoever I'm connecting with, you've reached a level here where, um, because it says wild card, this is like, you've you've completed a really major final cycle and this doorway isn't like a, a pre-planned pre you know faded doorway this is the wild card now you're going to walk through this new life and because of what you've healed because of what you've gone through in the clarity and space that I'm that you have in your energy and your aura now it's like instant manifestation whatever you create is going to become your life that's what this new step is. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? That's what I'm saying. Okay, you have to release this energy to get through this portal. 
any situations that require you to lessen who you are or to not shine your light so bright or to make you kind of feel like, hmm, get away from them. Those are not situations for you. All right, yeah, you have the void. Stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb because you're about to go through the portal. You're in the middle of a rebirth right now. You finished the dark night of the soul. You're done with that. I think that you've gone through the worst. You've gone through a really a deep bout of emotions. I feel like a lot of, um, especially with this lifting the veil. Yeah, look, anything unaligned must go. That's what it says on here. Questioning, so if it makes you feel small, and then it says questioning everything. So I feel like whatever this dark night of the soul is, whatever this darkness is that you just went through and completed, now you're just waiting for the exit. This is the pause before you walk through the door where you can catch your breath. This is where integration happens. All right, you have the page of earth as the current uh, situation, which is a page of pentacles, and you have justice, Libra energy as the recent past. For Pisces, please. For Pisces. You have the Knight of Swords as your energy. Outside energy is the Page of Wands. Your challenge is the Five of Pentacles. And your outcome is the Two of Wands, okay? Then on the bottom, you have the Magician. You have the Magician, you have the Nine of Wands, you have the King of Wands, you have the Lovers, the Two of Swords, and the Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Chariot. So Pisces, oh, you're heartbroken. And I, I feel like you're trying to, I don't want to say manipulate, but it's hard for me not to with the magician. I think that you're trying to manipulate your way into believing that you're, you're, you are okay, but you're manipulating your way into believing that, that your heart doesn't need the healing that it needs because you're blocking this 10 of wands. You're blocking this. It's like, you're just carrying around the burden. You're not fully releasing it. You're not fully letting it go. Um, and maybe those are the final steps. Like something was, you may have felt like something was blocked. Like you were unable to move past a certain situation or you or belief right like why why aren't i why can't i have the happiness why can't why is my heart broken it's a burden like why did this have to happen to me clarify the page of pentacles please I don't know if this is an apology or if it's just someone peeking around from the past and, and saying what's up and you're not really into it. Yeah, judgment. That's the one that fell out. All right, so we have judgment here with the King of Cups. All right, intemperance. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Fool. So it is some type of apology, but also a hey, what's up, right? Especially with this Ace of Pentacles energy in the full Three of Swords. Here's the thing though, Pisces. I almost feel like this is something that is taking place inside of you and maybe not so much uh, with an outside person. I mean, that could have been what triggered this energy. But with the Page of Earth, Judgment, the King of Cups, and Temperance, I really feel like this is you kind of, sort of, allowing yourself 
to touch something in your heart that I feel like maybe you've been avoiding because you know how much it's going to hurt. Because the page is like just a little bit. You don't really want to fully invest in it, but you want to peek around and see what it's all about. But then there's this reality check with the judgment card. When you tap into it, it's like, whoa. Okay, especially with the Ace of Wands. So there's something here that you have to release that I feel is connected to your heart and is connected to something that may have brought you a lot of confusion. Okay, and so, but you're, whatever it is, it's enough that you need divine help to get out of it, especially with temperance, because it's going to transform you. All right, you have justice in the recent past with the magician, the three of cups and the tower. Again, it's the same energy of struggling with, I feel like someone in the past was trying to manifest or really, really focus on bringing, bringing something together, trying to see somebody or something because it's three of cups it was like let's bring it together but the tower was here so the foundation was already cracking and it wasn't happening because it's still the same energy of why won't this happen for me because then the tower moment comes in with justice but this is some type of karmic whatever the tower was it it, it was unavoidable is what I'm seeing, especially with justice. This was a decision. This was the divine coming in and it had to happen to complete the tower because this tower is what's going to, it's what's completing this transformation. It's what's completing this dark night of the soul and closing it out for you. All right. You're showing up as the knight of swords. Why is Pisces the knight of swords, please? What is this in regards to? Five of Cups, oh, yeah, I'm sorry that you're, somebody here is, is just going through some deep emotions here. You have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups, oh, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups. It's the same energy of, kind of like, why? There's a lot of sadness, regret, and remorse. And then there's this, there's this thought process of what if I had done things differently or what if things had been different? Was, did I miss an opportunity? Was I, were we pouring into the wrong things? How did we get to this emptiness? Why is this loss here? But with the Knight of Swords, this is also kind of um, harsh energy. It's, it's, it hurts, it's argumentative. So you could be going back and forth with yourself Okay, and the Nine of Wands also is exhaustion, mental exhaustion, depression, sadness. And it's all over this opportunity that looks like maybe it was missed. Something that brought you a lot of happiness. Something that maybe you felt like was a soul connection or is a soul connection, but there just seems to be a lot of hidden energy, hidden motives, confusion. Things that, you know, are, are unable to be understood right now, that they're still hiding something. But that's why you have don't dim to fit in. Needing to remove your mindset from situations that continue to just bring you down. If thinking about it doesn't elevate you, then don't be around it either, you know? Outside energy is the page of wands. This is deep, okay? So for some of you, I almost feel like if this is someone who's passed away, because I that is kind of, that's there. Because this, this person on this card looks like they're glowing. And I almost feel like they're, they're like missed, like they're not fully there, right? And then the page is a child when we're talking about messages. So it's like this, this message that's trying to get to you, an apology of some sort, really. Yeah, it's some type of message that's, that's trying to get to you through different, through like through the ethers almost is how I'm seeing it. Clarify, please. 
You have the moon. Strength. Yeah, it's psychic energy. There's something, somebody's trying to send something to you. The nine of pentacles, justice with the eight of pentacles and the four of wands, the chariot. There could be some type of divine offer that's coming to you. Something that you're going to know is an answered prayer. Like this is coming from the divine. It's something that you've only communicated with in your own sacred space. Okay. Also, somebody's um, gifts, spiritual gifts, are, are very, very activated right now. Especially because of this strength card. And that's what's bringing in these opportunities or some of you may be receiving some type of new spiritual gift where you're able to communicate like Claire Audient, um, maybe you're a medium. Okay, that's, but you have this connection and that's going to be strengthening here. That's why it's so important for you to make sure that you're in situations that are not causing you to dim your light. Your challenge is the five of pentacles. I think you have to leave something behind in order to receive the the alignment and stability that you're looking for and that's what's hard is is to release that burden clarify this five of pentacles please for pisces as a challenge yeah king of swords it's a lack state of mind or the way that you communicate king of swords and the five of pentacles that's speaking you know that's low vibrational thoughts and talks yeah the star you got to clear something out you have to forgive something and clear out some energy that's within two of wands. That's your, your outcome. You, you may have to leave something behind and it might even be your own way of perceiving something, your own way of communicating with yourself. Like you have to transition and clear the space within so that you can get out of this energy of loss of lack so that you can get out of the void. And then you're at this crossroads of which way do I let go? See, you don't want to let go of something. There it is, the four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, five of pentacles. But then look who's after. It's the devil. You're holding on to some type of offer or commitment. But I just, you, you can't let it go. Elephant may be of significance to you. You can't let something go or this person or this situation What's coming in with the Two of Wands, please, for Pisces? The Sun. The Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, taking us all the way back to the beginning. And then there's the Emperor, the Lovers, and the World. Pisces, you're at a crossroads, and for some of you, this may involve children, okay? But I do see the beginning of something. It's really about shifting and changing your mindset on a situation and trying to see the positive and trying to see um, all the beauties, right? Because there, there's always duality in everything. There's there's going to be ugliness, and then there's going to be beautiful moments, and it's it's how it's all woven together that creates our story. But I feel like you're at this crossroads where you have the decision and choice of how you want to move forward in regards to the situation. I don't actually, I mean, it can pertain to your outer world and your 3D world and which direction do I stay or do I go. But how spirit is showing it to me is this is really about how it affects you on the inside, how you're thinking about it, how you're talking to yourself about it, and how you feel about it, and allowing yourself to infuse it with love. Because anytime we think something that's less than, it, that affects our body, mind, body, and soul, and spirit. And so it's just like, I almost feel like this is, this, this outcome is you at the crossroads of how am I going to pour into this situation in myself? so that I can transmute it, so that I'm not dimming my light, so that I can walk through this portal, this transition. 
The sun is here, which is the best card in the whole deck. And to me, it represents God, the light of God. So there's something that's going to be shown and pouring over you to help you come to this uh, revelation, this epiphany, this, this realization to get you through that portal, to get you to the next step. All right, Pisces, I'm sending you much love. Bye.